Introducing Metropolitan. Here's an overview of how to use the presets in Adobe Lightroom. For this demonstration, we're using Adobe Lightroom Classic CC, but please check the software requirements to see what other versions of Lightroom these presets will work with. So start with your image in the develop module. You want to start off with the auto white balance and lens correction presets, and you want to manually adjust your exposure. After you've done this, you can start applying your presets. Now the Metropolitan Pack is an update to the City Streets and the Urban Collection, and what we've done is to combine the ideas from these two packs to bring you presets for street photography, urban photography, and travel photography with a city or urban background. So Metropolitan 1 is really nice. What it's going to do is desaturate a lot of the other colours and really bring out the orange tones. There's a little bit of fading on the Metropolitan 1, which is why we've included Metropolitan 1 Clean which is going to give more of a gritty feel to your image. And then there's Metropolitan 1 Fade, if you want some matting in the highlights and in the shadows. Metropolitan 2 keeps the lovely orange and red tones in the image, but pushes blue into the shadows, which is very popular in modern street photography palettes. And if Metropolitan 2 is a little too blue for you, you can use Metropolitan 2 Alt, and that warms the image up a little. And of course, there's a faded version of this preset as well. Metropolitan 3 is great for daytime street photography if you want a slightly retro look to your images. And then the other presets are gritty faded looks which help to enhance a metropolitan landscape. There's lots of contrast in these presets and it really brings out the vibe of these tall grey buildings. So for this I'm going to choose Metropolitan 1 Clean. Now after you've applied your preset, go and adjust the exposure and play with the white balance as this can affect the overall look of your image. And of course these presets are all fully customizable so I might pump up the shadows and even scroll down and add some grain into the image. Now I'm going to show you an example of these presets on a nighttime image from one of our community members Amirul Hakim. He's a great street photographer who we featured on the blog a little while back. So I'm going to start with auto white balance and lens correction. And you can see these presets also work really well on this dimly lit shot. You'll notice there's a preset called Metropolitan 9 and we recommend you use this for nighttime and darker images. And you can see what it does is to push light blues into the fluorescent and white lighting such as headlights or street lights. And this adds for a really nice dynamic nighttime shot. I'm just going to warm the image up a little and add some contrast and crop it in just to center the guy in the frame. And there we go, looks brilliant. So if you're an urban city photographer and really want to conquer the streets, this is the pack for you. If you've got any questions about using these presets, feel free to contact our team. Welcome to Metropolitan.